A fortnight until term begins and Quinton Kiniston remains in a state of flux. After a year to forget, the future looks uncertain. The former superhead Joe Shooter resigned in June after flamboyant and possibly fraudulent expenses were uncovered. Now it seems many staff, some very senior, have followed her out of the door. It now appears as many as 25 members of staff have left the academy since the end of term. We believe that includes a number of heads of department and heads of year. The interim head teacher and two out of four deputy head teachers have also apparently left. There's no suggestion any of the staff who've left had anything to do with the investigation or have done anything wrong. As an academy, there's no local authority to step in, raising concerns the upheaval is far from over. There's no doubt at the moment it's still under a, a bit of a cloud and it does need uh, a lot of leadership to see it through quickly during this transition period. And I do think there are some lessons to be learnt there nationally, particularly for the Department of Education, if they're not really too interested in being involved in the nitty gritty of running schools. Um, because the Academy's only line of accountability is the Department of Education and not local authorities anymore. Joe Shooter took over in 2002 and was lauded as a superhead overseeing the transition to Academy with an outstanding rating. Then in September 2012 she was suspended as governors probed claims of financial impropriety. In May this year she was cleared and reinstated. Days later a Department for Education report revealed she'd spent £17,000 on taxis, £3,000 on flowers, £7,000 on her own birthday at school and some phone bills had been claimed twice. Finally, in June, she quit. A police investigation is, we understand, still ongoing. There was no response from the Academy today and its website currently shows no vacancies. There's often plenty of turnover in London schools, but Quinton Kiniston has had a particularly difficult period recently, which might not be over.